So we're literally standing at the gates of a chateau. Over 20 years, this place has been abandoned. The driveway there. And over here is a beautiful tower. I'm not going to show you nothing just yet. Let's start the intro of this video, guys. What's happening, YouTube? So I'm in France. It's around about 26 degrees. We're literally heading to a chateau. And yeah, at the moment, we don't know a lot of history or anything on this place at the moment. I'm not going to lie to you. But hopefully when we get in there, we'll try and work out the puzzle of what's going on. I just want to say a massive thank you to all the channel memberships, all the Patreons, the people that have left us a donation to buy us a pizza. Thank you so, so much, honestly. It means so much to me. And with your help, it helps us grow. It helps us explore as much more and bring you content every week. Saturday, 6 p.m., new video uploaded every week. So yeah, the more I can get out and explore, I may even chuck two videos up. But anyway, let's get on with the video. Love you loads. So you can hear the church bells in this beautiful little French village in a chateau that was once a family home, completely now taken by nature. Let's get on with the video. Hello explorers and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to AWE, hit that like and subscribe, it means the world to me. If you are subscribed, love you loads as always. So guys, this was one of the first videos I filmed in France, but I posted it number four into the trip because I wanted to find out a little bit more history on this place. As we were talking to locals as we left, they were saying that the couple that lived here spent their entire life together. So the more we wanted to dig into it is we found out that he was his family home, he met his wife, they lived their whole entire life here having two children which grew up and moved away, but her sister moved in with them and apparently her sister completely disappeared. Some say he had an affair with her, police got involved but she was never found. Some say he buried her in the grounds. But after the disappearance, him and his wife just up and left and completely vanished never returning back to their home for nearly almost 20 years now this place is completely abandoned wow this is literally the old front driveway to this place It's like a swamp there. It's wrong way. Left. It's a mulch. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Did you fall there? Shit, sorry. <laughs> Too soon. She's my mom. I should get up. Gee. This is a freaking house. It's buried in there. Damn. I think we probably have to go to the gate. Look at this chateau. Hidden. I'm wondering if we had to go up that road and into the side of it. It's one of the ways we might have to. Because you've got the, the, the river that runs up the side, the lake. This is sometimes what you've got to do to get in a place. Honestly, does anyone want to put a date yet? About cheating? Of how long this place has been abandoned. No, I think we're all swamped. So I think we have to be up there. Hey, we've got a there's a bridge. We've got to cross. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bridge. Man, I'm exploring my easy dude. I gotta find. It's a mission just to get to the place. Guys, I can't tell you how many times I've been stung. Wow. Guys, literally another incredible place. What's happening, explorers? So, I've literally made it to the front of this chateau, and it's like once upon a time in France, there was a couple. It's like always a story, but it's true. This place would have been owned by a very wealthy French family. 
and now it's completely taken by nature. Like this place is so overgrown. I've been stung all around the neck, around my legs, through my jeans, just to get to this place. It's completely wide open and I just don't understand why it's not been sealed or you know, what's happened to it. So hopefully we'll be able to tell the story more as when we go in the video. You may already see on the introduction of this video part of the story because sometimes when I turn up and film like now we don't know the story. So I end up doing it in my intro so hence why when I walk you around the place I'm not actually telling the story until I've actually been around and worked it all out myself. So hopefully let's get inside. Guys, let's go on a journey inside this place. Literally through the front door. Straight away I can see the staircase and this beautiful like terracotta floor. Look at the size of the doors and frames. So obviously I've taken a right straight through the front door into like would have been the old kitchen area of this place. Look at the old water pump. How we take things for so granted nowadays where we're, you know, not like today where you can just turn a tap on. Loving this old concrete style sink as well. It's absolutely incredible. So I'm guessing this pumps the water into this cylinder next to it. Then it gives you a pressure. It could even be a pressure like to cause the pressure for the water to come out. <laughs> Incredible argo. Well, it's like an argo. Just makes you think about when the fire was last going in there. The food, the smell of the French cooking, what was happening. Everything's still there, like the family just vanished, like they disappeared. So everything's still there, all the saucepans. You imagine how, what they were planning that day when they got up. You know, did they think this was going to be the last day they'd be here? They're going to up and leave, they're just going to go. This sort of stained glass window there. The colours shining through, that vibrant blue and red. Chez Lange, sit beside the fire, feet up. There's some like Japanese or Chinese writing there as well. All the old books completely decaying. Furniture is incredible. Guys, look at this writing desk. Brave fortune. So it probably would have been the original fire that sat there. I forget how high these ceilings are as well, guys. I mean, I'm pretty much you near know, six foot arm stretch, and I can't even reach the light. Wow, look at that mirror, dude. Places, everything has character. The vinaigrette looks like on the table. What was their last meal sat around here? What was the last thing they said? Oh, I do that. That's probably the church literally up the road that we see earlier in the beginning of the video. Look at all the 
administration journal. Looks like Napoleonic times, 1812. Oh, it's all right. It's made. It's all that sh ceramic, like a brass band around it, or porcelain. And all the gold leaf around the top of it. Just can't get over the doors, the size of them. The wooden paneling, the wooden mirrors. It's a shame about all this furniture here. I don't know why it's all chucked like this. Guys, look at the old light switches. So you have to kind of wind it up, ready to click. Guys, this place is incredible. Do you know what is my ultimate dream? To buy a beautiful chateau in France and completely restore it. Look at the old photos there. The iron. Makes you wonder what was in there. It's almost like white powdery stuff. And you can see that the cast of the iron all in this place and the plaster's just falling off this fire. Look at this. And if you stand here you can see the piano is literally like ready to lock forward. Maker's Mark. Another piano there, literally lopsided. There's a piano stall. Oh, such a shame. The amount of water damage coming in was literally collapsing the legs of the piano. Holes in the floor. Even the little stalls got split for it. Someone's missed the goblin about the clock. Again, like the little dresser bit. Not dresser, the, uh, I forgot what they call these now. Keep the plates in cups and stuff. This is probably like yeah, would have been years ago, maybe like a pantry or something where you kept food, and obviously later on people stopped using it as much. It's all like the horse reins there. So this is like an indoor shed now. You can see part of a wood plane there, and so many bits left. This door frame here is so low as well. I'm loving this as well, I believe it's like an umbrella stand. And obviously a lot of these staircases would have had a beautiful lamp on the bottom of them. 
Look at the pink wallpaper. I think they were trying to renovate, yeah. Right, I didn't even know it was the third floor coming in. Have you been up have you been up this way? Yeah, it's cool. That's how I started, that's the servant side. Yeah, so this would have been like your servant part. You can see that how narrow it is as well, like if I end up touching the walls with my shoulders. Loving the old new music books. I just love old books. I love anything old. And this here, look, we've had a nice, I think that's either granite or slate on top, or is that even marble? It's hard to tell. Oh, it's so cool. You know me, guys, this is completely me all over. I love anything like this. And <laughs> I keep saying it a lot in my videos. How a lot of things are not straight as well in these old houses. <laughs> Even the front, the windows. If you try and work out the gap to there, from there, you can see the window sills completely lopsided. I mean, a lot of these chateaus date back to the 1800s. And girls. So I got told off a little while ago, and I just want to add, I never mean any offence to anyone who's, because I've had this message quite a lot saying, I'm not a guy, I'm a girl. And I totally get that, it's just a thing that, I, you know, I've said before in videos so many times, like guys, girls. So I'm going to try and remember to say girls and guys from now on. But yeah, look at this. Another beautiful room, beautiful bed. And it's a shame to think that a lot of this furniture is probably going to end up in the landfill. A skip. Well, I know some of you are probably watching this thinking, I'd love to save that. I mean, look at this single bed. It's like a sleigh. Look, this isn't your cheap market stuff for you. This is the genuine expensive stuff. To, to make a bed like this now, you're probably talking thousands for the craftsmanship that went into this. How are you doing, all right? Yeah, man, this place is really cool. You like it? Yeah, I've just never seen so many bedrooms. It's gotta be like almost ten. Really? Yeah. So you make sure you wonder what these keys are for. Could have been the old wardrobe there, or an old clock. Another beautiful marble fireplace. Look at the bedside. They all got like a marble top on them. They've hid the sink inside the cupboard. It was quite common in years ago as well, when a lot of English homes had sinks in the bedrooms. Shoot! It's not bad. It's not bad, dude. Not bad. Look at this room, guys. Oh, uh, the old heater there. Look at the older toilet. Jeune Paris. The picture there sat above the bed, the cross, the vibes, you know. The way the bed is is like how I sleep, one sided. So it just makes me feel like there was one person left there, or they only slept that side. Look at this lamp. Do you do that as well? Do you, do you put that looks like fire on. Do you put pillows to one side to make you feel like you've got something in the I'll put, uh, I only sleep on one, so I'll put the other one next to me. Yeah, then. Yeah. And then sometimes I'll wedge it beside me. So and yeah. if I'm on the sofa watching TV, I'll wedge it on the side I like, of me. I like cut my legs off. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what side do you sleep? So I'm that um, side normally. Yeah, I'm that side. Yeah. Towards the, sort of facing the door. And if I lay that side, it's really fucking weird. 
This one's a gem. Look at that, dude. I know. It's like freaking five grand. More, maybe, dude. It's not the dresses there as well. What do you think? Today we take things for granted, don't we? Pick up a flat pack furniture. Can you imagine being the maker of this? Well, I definitely wouldn't find this at IKEA. <laughs> nah, see, if you imagine sitting there carving all this out, it's definitely like, um, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call like Japanese and Chinese sort of furniture and all that? Um, well, it's not Min Dynasty, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> no, I can't think what it is, oh, but it looked, I thought it looked a bit like a. You think? But then this is quite like sort of a Greek sort of stuff you'd see in Greece and stuff, but I don't know. So now I know a lot of you would like me to read some of these letters, and I really wish I could. So I don't know if you can see some of these. I'd also send it to a friend of mine that can actually translate French. Um, and we'll uh, try and work out some of the stories on these. Um, what we are getting now, there was a general that lived here and he had children. Uh, I mean, this takes back to World War II, 1943. That's 1896. You think these are old letters that survived this long and now they're sitting literally in the decay. They could decay any moment. You've got to admit, guys, this bedroom is insane. It's absolutely beautiful. The, the beam running through the middle, the wallpaper, everything about this, the gold leaf carpet mirror, the marble fireplace, this, the wooden flooring, I could just keep going on. Obviously, we've got all the French letters up there in this bedroom. Turning around here, this dresser is absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the design there. Do you realise it's all handcraft as well? Someone would have sat here for painstaking hours, chiseling this all out. It's definitely got her, um, oh, I kind of forgot the word now. I've got this, it's a linen cover, but oh, I literally lost it, guys. When they say this type of furniture, it's got like a Japanese kind of oriental, that's the one. Here you can see like the temple parts there. Completely left. Right in there, it's going to decay. Coming to this desk here as well, I've seen some more photos as well. So I'm guessing this is like maybe the grandfather that grew up here. I mean this one, look how old this is. It's a shame really that they can't come and save all these old photos. That's the one, Damn found it out, oriental. It's just weird how there's no handles on the drawers. What's They're not. Taken off? Is that the actual? No, that can't be the handle, surely. That. No, it's not. No. They obviously run out of money, dude. They couldn't put the handles on. So <laughs> yeah. another cupboard. I don't know why they do this, like hide the sinks away and stuff. Dude, you seen the size of that bathtub? What? Have a look at that bathtub. Oh, you like your baths, you definitely won't like. You definitely won't like that. <laughs> oh, what, in Japan, though? Yeah, there's, there's a bath like in Japan. Look at the kid's crib, just sitting in the hallway. It's just amazing when you're working your way around these places. Kind of feeling like the presence of when people lived here. It's like another, like a double bed of the, like the sleigh type. It's a solid wood. Again, another sink and bathroom, I guess. Okay, it's just a sink. But it's crazy, they've just literally put the sinks in little separate rooms. I mean, that little room there is near enough as big as my bathroom. See, this looks like a put you up bed or a kind of maybe like a servant room. This may have been a servant room. I mean, it's not really an appealing bed. Oh, wow, guys, look at this. Now this is like off an old horse and cart carriage, I think. It's literally at the front of them. There's an old receipt here for 10 euros. That dates back to 2003. It's like 19 years, just an old receipt. It's an incredible chateau though. I love anything like this guys.
I know. <laughs> Your bath's amazing, man, as well. I want that bath. You can fit like all of us in that. I mean, yeah. We're going to try getting me, you and Josh in there. Oh, there is. I can imagine you sitting in that, dude. <laughs> oh wow no this is incredible I really like this place a little hat sat on the bed oh it could have been staged but you know what the stuff is still here at the end of the day the old lion's head and the handles it's quite common for an old door knocker so like I just walked straight past it's that it's probably made from the trees outside is it? yeah look at it Fully handmade. We will save the money and buy a maker cot. Oh, do you remember this? Oh, you're not late. Oh, you're an 80s baby. Do you remember Mouse Trap? Yeah, of course I remember Mouse Trap. <laughs> I still got it. Have you? Yeah. I'd actually buy that. I didn't. Even, I forgot about this game. I just. I stopped playing it. Right. I stopped playing that. And I stopped Tommy. Playing most of my board games because my mum. Because she's, oh, really? she's. Yeah, she's a treat. Like really bad treat. We had we had a, we had a game night. Me and my mum and dad and family in my house not so long ago. Playing Game of Life, and you're on the Game of Life. I oh, know, Game of Life, cars, yeah. And the little pins, yeah, yeah. yeah. She cheats on it. She? Yeah, every time. She's always... <laughs> she that one with Monopoly and all? It ends up a load of money. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's always <laughs> going to be the banker. Yeah, always there you going go. to be the banker. She's a cheat. <laughs> that sounds like someone in my family. And she's sat there now watching this going, I am not, I am not, with a big group cheesy <laughs> grin on her face. She's like, Dan, you said that on your video. <laughs> Oh, so guys, I don't know if you know this game, or a lot of you do, what you do is you have a ball bearing, and then you start here, and obviously it drops into there, and you kind of work it away. Obviously this here is a little magnet, so it'd pick the ball up, it'd move it around there, and then this one here would move these in and out, sliding it to the plate. Oh no, that was that, that's the plate, sorry. But yeah, you just basically work your way right around to the end, until you get there, and then ping, finish. Cool little game. Just the best at the end where you get caught by the net. Yes, it, it comes out. But this is it, guys. This was our entertainment. Well, it was my entertainment as a kid. I think kids have got it too good now. They still have a cheek to mine. We never had touchscreen phones. Yeah. Right. I'm already almost done filming this entire video. Even the cots suffered with rib wood rot in this place. Look at it, though. We translate it. It's there's something here is about the chateau, but it's a yeah. We're working it out so maybe like a general that lived here. If you want to translate it, guys, and let me know. But it dates literally 1920. So much history. It's coming over to the wardrobe. It's literally clothes still hanging up. Well, this was our kind of entertainment as well, wasn't it? Sit oh, in the yeah. back of the car. It's, it's McDonald's. Is it? Yeah. It's Ronald. Oh, yeah. That's Ronald cool. McDonald. It's a 90s one, though. I remember Definitely. I had one just like that. Probably 1992. The latest like, date that I've seen in this house was like 1956. Oh, I found a receipt for 2002. Oh, you did? But that's as new as I found. So that's, that's given 20 years. It's been abandoned. So yeah, guys, I'm going to head up to the third floor. Second floor, should I say. I'll show you on the map. Is it close? Nah. <laughs> so we're literally right on the top floor of this place. A fall through here will definitely break my leg. Look at this, the attic space. Just shows you the size of these places. Oh, guys, guys, you can feel the floor moving underneath. You can see that it's way it's bowed up and cracked up there. So how many now are watching this? Imagine a barn like type conversion in here, in your loft, literally up here, where you can sit on your computer, time to yourself. I mean, look, just shows you the size of this place. Time's just literally frozen still. 
there's not a single pane of glass in this pane here. The rear garden. Like a jungle. But it's sad because you think just this place is just battling on its own. I'd love to be able to sit there and read the French. Maybe read through some of these old documents here. Some of the old books. I'm loving the beds, loving the furniture. I mean, look at the little kids' bed over there. Absolutely incredible. So many more documents, dude. I'd love to just sit there, as I said, and read through it all. Just find a little chair, sit here at this desk and read through it. I mean, this paper dates to 1927, but I can't even read what it's about. Le Messenger de la Marine. Marine. But what's it about? What's going on? This is why maybe I should learn French. I spend so many, normally I'm in France so much. Obviously due to the pandemic, I've not been able to travel for so long. Look at this. It's just so weird how you walk through some of these empty rooms and then you find a piece that's like, it's never been moved. It's sitting like the room would still be furnished. I mean, these are literally, this would be like you maybe a second or third generation photos are so old. Just a, it doesn't even strike a key anymore. Trunk. These are so popular today and all. Like people are storing them into like kids' toy boxes and so many like so much purpose left for these now. You think we're still in the attic? So the part that you see hadn't been converted, this is still on the attic. So you see all that huge space. But this is just part of it, as I said, that they've converted. We were just saying that Dan's estimated like roughly 14 beds, three pianos. Let us know how many you've seen in this video at the moment. I can tell you now there's just one, two, three. I'm up to 17 now. <laughs> 17, there you go guys. Are we wrong? Put it in the description. I mean, there is a frame of a bed, so it's still a bed. So yeah. See, look, you put a really shower in here. It's a relatively new shower. You've still got the Victorian. Oh wow, look at that. Victorian like um, bath dresser. Yeah. Oh, these have been like a wall lights. Yeah, right? they're all wall lights. <laughs> That's crazy. God, it's hot up here. Yeah, I know you're telling me. But it's relatively dry up here as well, so it doesn't. It feels like there's not maybe not a lot of rain in this part of France. I don't know. What do you have to walk in on here? Well, I've just walked up to that big beam in front of you. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of rain this, this side of France. No. We're heading towards uh, the south, southeast of France. So we're going to head back down and see if I've missed out anything at the moment. Maybe see if there's a basement in this place. Come out the back side of this house and have a proper look outside. <sighs> yeah, another day, guys. Another chateau. How many now have I done? How many have we been to in France? All of us now. And they just feel like they just keep coming. It's really weird though, the way this place is laid out in certain parts, it's like it was like you could pay to come in and have like a tour sort of thing. It was just it's really random. Alright, let's head out the back anyway. Oh. One thing about exploring, it's so nice to take your mask off when you come back outside and breathe that fresh air. But yeah, look. So I said, you can imagine these places back in the day, all fresh painted up white, all the windows and shutters open, the paint of fresh shutters, looking over on the beautiful garden, and these gardens would have been pristine. 
You know, as I said, a place like this, there wouldn't have been just a family and a couple of kids. They would have had servants back in the 1800s that would have took care of the light and the fires, cooking the dinners and doing all the grounds. This is another section. We're back out of the chateau. Look at this barn. Now, do you know what? I'd be happy to... Oh, that is like a... Like a secret area underneath it. This is when I maybe should follow the others. Don't know if any of you followed me before, or if you just found me. This is obviously where they would have kept stuff so cold down it. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, a few years back I was doing a chateau in France, beautiful place. Knock spots off of this one, even if you like this one. And yeah, I broke my leg on a trip and ended up in a uh, French hospital for five days. So, but uh, the only problem with the UK, France and all that at the moment is the, this type of year, the sting of that always is the thorns are everywhere. So literally it's so overgrown, I can't even get to the barn. I'm gonna skip this bit at the moment until I go over there, but there's like some tower or something. Sometimes it's so peaceful just to sit outside and listen to Mother Nature herself. So after fighting all through there, this would have been like the original driveway to this place, straight down. So you can see like 20 years what it's done. Trees, everything. Oh no, this is bad. What is that about? That one's good. What have you seen? Oh, oh, oh we're just uh, taking photos of Rapunzel's tower. Oh, you're not going? Have you tried the door? No. I've never been to the door yet. Shall I try it or not? Yeah, yeah try the door. Now you guys want to come. Listen to my nose as well now. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm going to wait here. Try the door. Yeah. My legs. I hope they're not oh, God. Honestly, awful. It's like this part's been restored at some point. So a lot of these chateaux got invaded. So yeah, it's actually quite nice to see it all sealed up. Yeah, I'm gonna drop straight down there as you can see the lake there. So I'm gonna head out, guys. I like to sit inside there, but unfortunately it is locked. I'm not gonna kick the door in. We're gonna leave this place completely sealed and head back to the car. So literally coming straight out of the gate, heading back to the car, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who watched me at AWE. Love to you all, you're like the AWE family. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It costs absolutely nothing, but means the absolute world to me, honestly. Even if you don't like the content after a while, unsubscribe, but hopefully I'm gonna start bringing you amazing content again. Now we're free to roam again. We can get out of the country and explore. That's the only problem of being in the UK. You're trapped on a little island and when the pandemic was around, we just could not get off the island, as we said. So, yeah, guys, love to you all. As I said, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, everything, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much to all the channel memberships, Patreons, and uh, everything else. Love to you loads. Stay safe.